We might have just stumbled upon something truly extraordinary. Signs of life, yes, life on another planet. Proxima B, our next door neighbor cosmically speaking, is showing hints that it might just be teeming with tiny alien organisms. Can you feel the excitement? This is a game changer. For centuries we've gazed at the stars and wondered, are we alone? Now, thanks to the incredible power of the James Webb Space Telescope we might finally have an answer. And guess what? It's looking like a big fat nope. This discovery sends shivers down my spine and it should for you too. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our insatiable thirst for knowledge. We're on the verge of rewriting history books and textbooks alike. This is a new dawn in our understanding of the universe. So what's the deal with this Proxima B anyway? Why is it capturing the imagination of scientists and space enthusiasts alike? Well, it's a rocky planet, a bit like our Earth, orbiting the star Proxima Centauri. Imagine a world with a solid surface, mountains, valleys, and perhaps even the potential for water. And the best part? It's right in our cosmic backyard, just 4.24 light years away. In the grand scheme of the universe, that's practically next door. That's close enough to make interstellar travel a real possibility in the future. Imagine the advancements in technology that could one day take us to this neighboring world. But here's the kicker. Proxima B is tidally locked to its star. This means one side of the planet is always facing the star, while the other side is in constant darkness. One side basks in perpetual daylight, while the other shivers in eternal darkness. Talk about extreme weather. The temperature differences could be staggering, creating a world of contrasts. But don't let that fool you. There might be a sweet spot, a twilight zone where temperatures are just right for liquid water, and where life could thrive. This narrow band between the scorching day side and the freezing night side could harbor the perfect conditions for life. Now, Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star, smaller and cooler than our sun. These stars are known for their longevity and stability, which could provide a stable environment for planets orbiting them. That means Proxima B has to snuggle up close to stay warm enough for liquid water. Being so close to its star, it receives just enough heat to potentially support life. And that's exactly where we find it, right in the habitable zone, the Goldilocks region where conditions are just right for life as we know it. This makes Proxima b one of the most exciting exoplanets discovered, as it sits in a place where life could potentially exist. Let's give a big round of applause to the James Webb Space Telescope, the MVP in this cosmic discovery. This incredible piece of technology has revolutionized our understanding of the universe, pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. It's not just a telescope, it's a time machine, a window into the distant past, allowing us to see the universe as it was billions of years ago. This technological marvel is like having a super-powered telescope in space, capable of seeing things no telescope on Earth ever could. Imagine having a pair of glasses that let you see not just across the street but across the galaxy. The JWST's advanced instruments can capture light from the farthest reaches of space, revealing secrets hidden in the darkness, and boy has it delivered. The JWST has spotted something incredible in Proxima B's atmosphere, the telltale signs of methane, oxygen, and nitrous oxide. These discoveries are not just random, they are meticulously analyzed data points that could change our understanding of life beyond Earth. The presence of these gases is a tantalizing clue suggesting that Proxima b might be more than just another rocky planet. Now, these gases can be produced by geological processes, sure, but finding them together? That's a smoking gun, a strong hint that something fishy, or rather, lifey, is going on. The combination of methane, oxygen, and nitrous oxide in the same atmosphere is rare and intriguing. It raises the possibility that biological processes, similar to those on Earth, might be at work on Proxima b. These gases, my friends, are what we call biosignatures. They're the chemical fingerprints of life itself. When scientists talk about biosignatures, they're referring to specific chemicals that are associated with living organisms. On Earth, these gases are produced by plants, animals, and microbes. Finding them on another planet is like finding a hidden message in a bottle, a message that says, life was here. And finding them on Proxima B is like stumbling upon a note from an alien civilization saying, you are not alone. It's a profound discovery that could have far-reaching implications for our understanding of life in the universe. 
If life can exist on Proxima b, it might exist on countless other planets as well. This discovery opens up a whole new realm of possibilities and questions. Okay, maybe not that dramatic, but you get the point. The James Webb Space Telescope is truly a game changer, and its discoveries are just beginning. Who knows what other secrets it will uncover in the vast expanse of space. One thing is for sure, the universe just got a whole lot more interesting. The implications of finding life on Proxima b are mind-boggling to say the least. Imagine the ripple effects across various fields of study, from biology to philosophy, and even theology. The discovery would not just be a scientific milestone but a cultural and existential one as well. It would be the most significant scientific discovery in human history, shaking the very foundation of our understanding of the universe. The excitement in the scientific community would be palpable, with researchers from all over the world eager to contribute to this groundbreaking field of study. First off, it means we're not special. For centuries humanity has grappled with the question of whether we are alone in the universe. Finding life on Proxima b would finally provide an answer, suggesting that life could be a common occurrence in the cosmos. Life isn't some cosmic fluke that happened only on Earth. The existence of life elsewhere would imply that the conditions for life are not as rare as we once thought this would revolutionize our understanding of biology and the processes that lead to the emergence of life. It could be as common as stardust sprinkled across the vast expanse of the cosmos. This realization would prompt us to look at the universe with new eyes, understanding that life might be thriving in places we have yet to explore. And that, my friends, is a truly humbling and awe-inspiring thought. It would make us reconsider our place in the universe, not as solitary beings but as part of a vast, interconnected web of life. Second, it opens up a Pandora's box of questions. What does this mean for our understanding of life's origins? How did life on Proxima b come to be? And what does it tell us about the potential for life on other planets? What kind of life exists on Proxima b? Is it similar to the life forms we know on Earth or is it something entirely different? The possibilities are endless and each one more fascinating than the last. Is it simple single-celled organisms or something more complex? Could there be ecosystems, perhaps even civilizations that have developed in ways we can't even begin to imagine? Could there be intelligent life out there, looking up at the stars and wondering if they're alone, just like us? The thought of another civilization pondering the same existential questions is both thrilling and humbling. Finally, it forces us to confront our place in the universe. Are we just one of many intelligent species or do we hold a unique position? This discovery would challenge our self-perception and our understanding of what it means to be human. Are we ready to meet our cosmic neighbors? The prospect of making contact with extraterrestrial life raises numerous questions about our preparedness, both technologically and psychologically. What are the ethical implications of interacting with extraterrestrials?